The time has come. Your model is finished. And now you want to know how to take award-winning photos so that you can enter in your models for the Build a Monster contest. Well, today you're in luck because I'm taking out my own camera and I'm going to show you how to set everything up so you can take award-winning photos for the Build a Monster model contest. Now the first step in taking any good picture is to make sure you have a camera. Here I've got an old Brownie Hawkeye. Now that's from about 1961. I think that's a little too old because this is a digital format type contest. So you want to have a good digital camera. You can use, of course, your cell phone or, you know, something more advanced like what I'm actually using to film this with. It's a Canon shot camera. But anyway, that's what you need first. Now the next thing you'll need is an adjustable tripod and that's just to secure your camera down so that it doesn't wobble or whatever when you go to take a picture. Now here we have a camera stand and a booth that I made up. This is to do overhead filming in some of my unboxing videos that you might have seen online. What I also have here is a white screen in the back. This is just a big piece of paper. I also have these lights. This one has a paper on it just to diffuse some light. And then I've got this secondary light over here. Now if you don't have a booth set up like I do, you can always take something like a blanket here and in a neutral color for your background and just maybe hang that up somewhere where it can drape over and uh, put your model in front and take a picture of it in front of this cloth. You can drape this over top of a chair. That would work really well. Just make sure you've got the left and right hand side light coming in, maybe one over the top, one definitely up from the front. So four lights. I don't know. It's up to you, of course. But uh, this, of course, is a good, cheap, easy way to have a good backdrop. Now this is what a photograph would look like without a backdrop in here. And really, I mean, we will accept your model if it's like this. But is this an ideal situation that you want your model to be in? Considering it's going to be going up against other people's models where hopefully there's a backdrop behind it. So because here we've got Fonzie, but you can also see this thing in the back, which is a level that I use sometimes. You can see this box in the back with some junk up in the top of it. You can see the base and the stock of our lamp. And you can see this HO scale building that I worked on like a decade and a half ago that's just sitting here. I mean, it's not an ideal picture, is it? And now you can see the difference with the backdrop in here as to what it looks like for our model of the Fonz. You can clearly see that this is the Fonz. There's no background clutter in the way. And actually, this would turn out to be a perfect picture. Now, here are two other very useful items. One is, of course, a flashlight. I got this at a dollar store. And the other is a little mirror. Now, you can use these to add light to spots that are dark that the regular overhead lights will not reach. So here we have a model kit of a witch that I built a long time ago. And as you can see, just like under her chin, there is a lot of shadow in here. So if we're taking a photograph of this, you're going to have that shadow. Now, watch what happens when I take the, this little mirror right here, and I just hold it sort of up there. I try to catch the light with the mirror. You can see now that the witch's chest is being illuminated. There's down to her skirt. Then over here, we can get a bit on the brick walls. So you can see just how useful the little mirror is. You can also do the same thing with your light. So you just turn it on. My batteries are pretty weak on this, but there, this is a lot longer and taller. So again, you can get, you know, your uh, light up into those shadows just by using something as simple as this dollar store light. Now, in order to take a picture of your model kit, of course, you really want to get up close. So we'll just zoom this in just to about there. And then uh, you set up your lights so that they are in each of the opposite corners. And always have one that kind of bounces off the back wall here. And then comes back in. Now again, remember that we've got the shadow down here. So we can add our mirror in. And you don't want your hand in the way, of course. So we'll just try to adjust that maybe something like, like that and then you want to click your shutter. So there you've got your first photo for the Build a Monster contest. So what we want to see really in like the first photo 
is the overall model kit itself. So that would be everything. So like the switch here, you got the back wall, you've got her, you got a cutting board and the cauldron and the bottles and the broom down the side. So that's your whole model right in there. So that would be our first photograph. Now here's where you can use a bit of discretion as to what you want to photograph, but we still need that first one of the overall model. So for this shot, I think I'll just take a picture of the back. Now here's the third photo that I think I want to put into the contest. This one, of course, is showing us more detail, like the bottles and the brooms. Now you can read my little labels up here, and you can also see what's in the cauldron, what's cooking for dinner. So now I want to actually show the witch herself in this photo that I'm going to submit for the contest. So I've tilted my camera, as you can see, into this position, and now I can easily take a picture of the witch in her full body. And there's my fourth picture for the Monster Hobbies Build a Monster Contest. Now let's say that I wanted to show some additional photographs for this model because there's so much going on with this witch scene. And uh, four photos really wouldn't do it too much justice. So here I've got like my Black Widow sauce right here in this uh, bottle and the cutting board with all the blood and everything on it. So I will allow like one or two extra pictures, but please limit it to at least six, but four for sure. And I'll select through and uh, take the pictures that I want to show for the contest entries. Now, when you're photographing model cars for the creepy car category, one of the photos that we want is the front three quarter view. For your second photograph of your model car, you could include something like this top three quarter view. The third photograph could be something like inside the engine bay, but it's really up to you. The second and third photographs are up to you. What do you think is the most important about your model car or your monster model that you really, really want to show us and that you think would give you somewhat of an edge in this competition? And the fourth photograph has to be a rear three-quarter view. Also, if you're doing shuttlecrafts and spaceships and sci-fi, we would also like a front three-quarter and a rear three-quarter shot. Now, one other thing I will mention is this model kit is actually broken. There's supposed to be a little landing gear sticking off the bottom and a couple little landing pads underneath the engines. Now, keep in mind that this is a model contest it's not an eBay auction, so really, it, you have to think to yourself, is it going to be a good idea to enter in a model that's broken, or should maybe I glue the component back on before I snap the pictures and send them in? Now, if you're submitting a diorama, your first photograph should be a big overall photo of everything in your diorama, sort of like this. Now for your next photograph, you may want to take some details of your diorama, like the Forgotten Prisoner back here. Then maybe bring it in on Nosferatu. Next, you might want to showcase this coffin. And then maybe all these bats up here. And maybe as an alternate picture, you could zoom in on the skull and the mounting on the wall. When you email the photos over to ursalescu at yahoo.com, also remember to include a write-up and which contest category your model is being entered in. Well, I hope you found this video very informative and very helpful for when you need to take pictures for the Monster Hobbies Build a Monster Contest. Now remember, we're looking for your four best pictures, and you can always send them to ursalescu at yahoo.com. And that's where we will be looking at your pictures and making adjustments to the size and ratio of them so that they will go on our website better. So I hope you all have some good luck in taking pictures, and I wish you good luck on the Monster Hobbies Build a Monster Contest. And until next time, everyone, happy model building! <laughs>